What is up guys, Alex from Lakey War Games here and welcome to today's video where we're going to be taking a look and building this Infinity Engine paint rack system specifically designed for Games Workshop paint parts. So I like to think I have a fairly standard hobby setup. Paints, tools and workspace on one side with my computer on the other half of my desk. Now unfortunately for my paints, if you're not a dropper bottle, you get resided to this tub of doom, which is a big messy pile of paints all just thrown in. But today we're going to be fixing that with this Infinity Engine paint rack system, which is specifically designed to hold up to 66 pots of paint around the Citadel tub size or equivalent thereof. I just want to say before we get into building this paint rack system that this is in no way a sponsored video, nor is it endorsed by Infinity Engine themselves. I was brought this paint rack by my partner as a present for my birthday this year, and all of the opinions and everything within this video are completely my own. I've decided to make this hobby review video out of it as a new way to try and improve some of my cinema photography and ways of presenting videos and I would love to do more of these hobby reviews in the future with products that I buy. And if you guys really enjoy this video then please feel free to like and subscribe or follow any of my links to my socials which are all in the description below. And if you wish to take that support to the next level, then I also have links to my web store and the new Lakey Wargames Patreon, all linked down in the description below as well. But enough talk about all of that jargon, and let's get on into talking about this paint rack system and getting it built. So the Infinity Engine paint racks come all in these nice sealed plastic bags. There was one large one that held it all together, but I already opened it in my excitement before recording. It comes with the instructions here and all of the parts you'll need to assemble whichever sized paint rack you have ordered. This one here comes with the two larger sides as well as a bag with the smaller pieces that we're going to be using to assemble the shelving units with. Now this is a laser cut MDF wood material so as you can see on there there are some laser burns on one side more than the other so when we put this together we're going to make sure to flip it the right side up and make sure it's more aesthetically pleasing to have it without those burns on there but this won't affect the paint rack in any way shape or form so the first thing i did was open up all of the packaging to check all of the parts and make sure nothing was damaged and due to the awesome way that this was packaged and delivered nothing was broken in the process I did notice upon opening this for the first time there is a really really strong wood burning smell um, but that is just due to the nature of laser cutting wood and as long as you're doing this in a ventilated room where you can crack open a window that smell will dissipate within a couple of hours. So after I laid out all of the parts and checked to make sure that nothing was broken I got on to putting it together. The instructions will tell you that you can build this by putting one half of it all together with all of the rounded slots in first, attach some wood glue to hold them into place before putting the other end on, um, and what I did is I got cracking with putting those pieces in. Now it's nice and straightforward, they just slot straight into all of the gaps there, and I was really impressed with the structural integrity of the rack itself. As you can see as I'm slotting these parts in, they take a little bit of a push and a squeeze to get in there, but once they're in that slotted hole, then they stand in there on their own, and in a second you'll see me pick the paint rack up, and even without the other side being on, they're not wobbly or thin enough that they just fall out of the supports. So even without the glue, it was really great from the off to see how sort of structurally sound that these bits of uh, laser cut wood actually are to hold the rack together. Now, once I put this side on, I decided I was going to try and put the other side on first before putting any of the glue in there for me. And I have to admit, it was a slightly embarrassing how long it took me to get this other side on. Um, I thought I was just going to be able to pop it straight on like I did the other side with the slots, um, with a little bit of a push. But unfortunately for me, that was not the case, and it did take me a little bit of a while and a few tries to get that side on there. Five minutes later... Couldn't get it on from the bottom, so I thought maybe it's just me being a little bit silly and I'll try again from the top, because once I get one in, then they're all surely going to go in. <coughs> 15 minutes later. Nope, that didn't work either, so I tried popping it on its side and putting a little bit of a pressure from above. One eternity later. But we got there in the end. It was easier to stand it with the slats coming up and push down from 
uh, above there but we got it on there in the end I think in hindsight if I was to do this again you can see I bent the little one at the top there is by accident by trying to force this on but in hindsight if I was to do this again I would file down some of the support slats on that second slat side to make them slot in so now when I get to this bit when I'm applying my PVA blonde which is a slightly stronger uh, industrial version of just a standard PVA which is good for the wood materials um, then it would be structurally sound and held in there even if I did shave a little bit off. I watched the thing on YouTube to make sure I wasn't being too silly but theirs just went straight in and mine had a little bit of a difficulty but you'd rather have that than support uh, slots that are slightly too small um, and just falling on out but we got it in there in the end. So what I did next is I took the PVA and I took a little paintbrush and I put it in all of the gaps to make sure that I could push it on down and get it into the joins of where the wood from the uh, paint slats and the support sides are touching and make sure that they are firmly bonded and glued together. After putting that on there I wiped off any access with a paper towel and then flipped it over and proceeded to do the same on the other side making sure to use this old paintbrush to push the glue on down and make sure it's actually in the joins where we need it to go. After both the sides are on and secure and it's all looking lovely I put a bit of PVA into an old pallet here and it was time to stick these front sections on where the paint pots are going to be resting and giving us that kind of 3D element where the paint pots will actually be held. And I did the same thing with the PVA where I attached this to the either end of the front structure and then was able to just put this onto the little cutout sides that are on either side of the supports. They just pushed on nice and easy and with that little bit of glue just holding them on we repeated this process until we had done the whole thing. A few moments later. And you can see that all of the uh, structures are now on there and this is the full uh, paint rack in all its glory with its 66 impressive slots of holding all those paints. I was really impressed with the structural integrity of this thing once it went together. I know I had a little bit of a struggle <laughs> trying to put that second side on but once it went on the whole thing holds together really nicely. Now like I said I did bend that top bit a little bit uh, trying to force that on there so I'm going to show you my quick way of how I fix that in a second and add a little bit of support back to that just in case if you have anything similar and accidentally bend one yourself. But before we did that we wanted to give it the good old test and make sure it does what we brought it for and that is to hold these paint pots and as you can see they just go straight on in, plenty of room for them to pop in but also not so much excessive room that they just fall out and even giving them a little nudge there these paint pots just stay straight in the rack which is awesome. Now I did try a couple of different size bottles, so I have the smaller technical paint, which is the same size as an average paint, so that was in there exactly the same, no problem. But these larger shade bottles or technical paint bottles that you might have don't quite fit in there as well. And if you were to knock the uh, paint rack or nudge the paint in a slight way, these will fall out. Infinity Engine do sell different sized racks and there are ones that I didn't know at the time but specifically hold those larger paint bottles so that's something I'll probably be looking at getting in the future um, to put alongside this one so my small pots can go in this one and then I'll have a different rack to sit in the deeper pots themselves. Now as promised I said I'd show you how I quickly added a little bit of support to uh, help fix that back bit that I bent slightly and all I did was take a long piece of sprue cut it to the length of the back of the rack there so it fits nice and snugly in between the two supports and use some super glue to attach it on there and this means when I put a paint pot in there and it leans onto that back bit it's just kind of got like a little brace to help hold it up the paint pots aren't too heavy themselves thankfully so it's nothing too drastic and something small like this will just help and here it is in all its glory filled with nice coloured paints um, and as you can see it looks really great it holds all the paints up I've put three paints in the top there where that top one is slightly bent and it pushes nice and flat against the wall so in any space that you've got you can put it there and this is the shot of my final desk and as you can see it looks so much better than it did at the start with that big pot of doom and that big mess and I am really impressed with this paint stand and I really like these. I'm going to go back to Infinity Engine's website and check out some of the other stuff they have because they're all compatible and sit next to each other and see how we can turn this space even better. 
And thank you guys for tuning in today and watching my build and review of this paint rack. As you saw at the end there, I really like the effect that this paint rack gave. It's really nice, solid and sturdy. And even though I had a little bit of problem putting that second side on, once it was on there, the integrity and structural strength of the entire paint rack is really, really good. Um, and I'm going to get some more of these. I would really recommend checking them out. They aren't the cheapest paint racks, I would say, on the system. This one here is 16 British pounds at current price. Um, so obviously there are cheaper shelving things you can get out there. You can get like plastic ones on Amazon for just sort of like five pounds. Um, but these ones look really nice and the fact that they do a whole wide range, I'll leave a link to their website down below. Um, you can really see all of these different corner shelves and tool shelves that they do. Um, and you can get a really nice system put together and they all fit nicely side by side as I've seen online. Um, so you can really put together anything to mix and match your sort of hobby space depending how much space you may or may not have or if you are working in sort of a corner desk or you have a straight desk there's plenty of options out there for you to build the sort of perfect paint rack system to your needs. But that is all from me today. Thank you very much for checking this video out. I hope you guys enjoyed and I look forward to bringing you some more good stuff soon. As always, all my social links are in the description below. If you fancy supporting me, please check those out. There's also links to my web store and my Patreon if you wish to support me a little bit further. But until next time, stay safe and happy wargaming.